beautiful people and happy welcome to this week's weekly reading vlog maybe try and cover up the tatas hold on i'll be back yes so this week is the start of something new for me i'm very self-conscious of what i look like so i'm definitely gonna put a put on basically i am uncomfortable with the way i look and i just don't feel that healthy so this week I'm starting back on my treadmill again. So I've had a treadmill for about a year and a half and I used to go on it religiously, but I've not done it for ages. But from this week, I'm gonna do it at least four times a week. So tonight for 20 minutes, I did 2.5K, which does not sound like a lot. I did it not that long ago, if you couldn't tell, cause I'm out of breath. Um, so I'm just building myself back up. I don't have the best joints. I don't have, the best of health so it sounds really small and minimal but for me it's quite a big thing so I'm just gonna build myself up I used to do I think it was about six or seven k in 40 minutes I think I used to do so I'm trying to aim for that um I got this little I'm not gonna show you much of it but it's just like a green pair of like cycling short type things and then like a little crop top exercise set. I got it on Amazon for like nine pounds or something in the Black Friday deal. So bought myself it, it's purely for exercising. I'm not gonna go outside into the world like this. But anyway, this is a whole tangent. <laughs> this week, freedom plan wise, I want to finish Shadow of Night and Holes. I've got the audio book of that. And I also want to listen to Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets on audio. These are all very doable. Shadow of Night, I think I'm on chapter 32 out of 42 maybe so I don't really have that long to go I'm just away to make myself some dinner and then I am gonna get myself in the shower while my dinner is cooking because it is currently quarter to eight so it's quite late I was with my dad at the gym earlier he was swimming and I was reading my book in like the spectating area so I'm gonna get myself something to eat get showered and then I'm gonna read for maybe like an hour before I go to sleep and that's pretty much my day. I'm so sorry. This has been such an out of breath beginning to the vlog. But here we are. Happy Monday and welcome to this week's weekly reading vlog. garland which I'm going to put along the centre of the table. This was really inexpensive. It was from Hobbit. beautiful people and happy Tuesday. It is currently 20 past nine and I have not checked in with you guys yet. 
So after I finished work today, I went into town because I had to pick something up from Boots and I went past the Christmas market. So there's a little bit of footage of the Christmas market there for you. I, reading update wise, finished Holes. I cannot for the life of me remember who that author, like what his name is or their name is. I don't want to just presume that it's a guy. I'm pretty sure it was a male. Um, but yeah, I gave it three stars. I just wasn't that blown away by it. I just, I wasn't a fan. It wasn't my favourite. Um, the way the story was told was very well done, but the story itself just wasn't a fan. So three stars for that. I also started the Scorched Trial, Scorched Trials, Scorched, Scorched Trials, the second in the Maze Runner series. I've read about two hours of that. We'll listen to two hours of that on audiobook. And I'm really enjoying it. I'm actually enjoying it more than the first one. And it's currently sitting at a four star. So the Maze Runner, I rated three stars. So four stars for the second one already. And I'm only about 20% of the way through. It's pretty impressive. I'm just more into the story this time round. I'm just, I don't want to say too much because then it'll spoil it. But I'm just more invested in the characters and the game plan and what's going on with tests and things. I'm just... I'm more into it and I've also read 60 pages of Shadow of Night and I think I'm on page 672 and I'm on chapter 37 I'm just about to start chapter 37 and I think there's only 42 chapters in the book so I am hoping really hoping that tomorrow is the 30th of November and I want to get this book finished so it's finished for November I also just thought I need to film my December TBR, not TBR, but the thing is my TBR seems to actually be being read now, so I don't know. The fact that I'm not really like doing TBRs and setting TBRs, not that I ever stuck to them, but I'm kind of, I'm just reading what I want to read and I'm really into the Discovery of Witches series just now, so next month I just want to read the third one, which is... Book of Life and Times Co Covent, the fourth one. I want to get them knocked out by the end of the year because I have so many plans for 2023 and I already know what my first two books of 2023 are going to be. So I really need to knock these books out and get this series finished. And yeah, that is all of my updates for today. Daniel and I are just about to go to bed. I'm going to put on an episode of Motherland. Have you watched Motherland? Motherland cracks me up. I'm on the last episode of season three. I'm on episode six. I'd watched the other two seasons and then the third season's just come out on Netflix and it just, it just hits a funny spot and it just makes me laugh and it's great. And yeah, I can relate so much to them even though I'm not a mum. It's so bizarre. But gonna watch that and then I'm gonna get myself to sleep and Daniel is gonna watch Kafka is gonna read Kafka on the shore um I think he's maybe about 60 pages or something through that um so yeah he is gonna do that while I watch tv Where's your head? There you go. Hello. You made yourself cozy underneath there.
Hello, my beautiful people, and happy Wednesday. Um, I'm coming at you from my bed. It's 20 past 10 at night, and I just finished Shadow Night. I am staying up later than I usually would so that I could get it finished. I wanted it finished before December, and I have done it. So I am very, very happy with that. I've rated it five stars. I friggin' loved this book so much. I loved the fact that we went back in time. We did certain things there. Some things were changed. Some things were different. Some things were carried on. Relationships evolved. Friendships were formed. I really didn't want to say too much because... I don't want to obviously spoil it or ruin it for anyone. I have managed to finish this book before the buddy read is finished for the second time. I am just really enjoying this series and I am going to be reading the third book next. Is that one book of book of life? And I think I've got Times Covent. So yay, another book is finished. I have stayed up late to finish it and I'm just going to get myself to bed because I've had a pretty ropey day, shall we say, and I could really do with some sleep and to heal and get better. So that is Wednesday. I've watched a lot of booktube and stuff today and caught up with some things. So I put some clips of that in, but it's really time for me to say sayonara and to go to bed. <laughs>
second time round booktube anniversary slash birthday type thing because I was on booktube like six or seven years ago before it was like a massive thing all those videos are hidden you're not going to be able to see them they're horrendous they are never going to be back out into the world so please don't look for them because they are not there um but it'll be a year in January I can't remember what date but a year in January since I restarted this again I can't believe it's been a year already that's just mad and I'm very thankful for all of you guys that stick through all these vlogs <laughs> and watch them and leave comments it's just it's so nice and I've made so many friends through booktube as well I have the closest friends that I never even thought I could even have like I have friends in real life I mean you guys are my real life friends um, you know who you are um, but before that I had like really good friends like Holly and Chloe uh, you've seen Holly in the vlogs before and it was just it was really nice having friends that were really into reading the same way I am so like the likes of Danny, Catherine, Siobhan it's so nice to have like our little community and also Tony and Lisa and Becca and Liv and there's so many people that have been brought into my life that I just would never probably cross paths with if it weren't for booktube so I am so 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 thankful um for all of you this has become a bit of a soppy thing but happy December <laughs> it's a time of reflection it would seem but yeah that is uh my little my little talk over <laughs> Someone's not so, huh, huh. let me start again. Someone is not so little anymore. He's becoming such a big boy. He's only about like five, six months old. And Ziggy are huge. They just grow up too fast. But I just thought I'd film this because he's being adorable and not being a menace for a change. Hello my beautiful people and happy Saturday. You will be thinking, Katie, where the hell is Friday? Um, I was sorting this room out and um, that kind of took over my Friday after I finished work and I kept putting my phone down, I kept losing it. So guess what? I didn't film anything. But this room looks a goddamn mess right now, but it is an organised chaos and a lot of stuff just needs to be put away once the stuff from the tip has been removed so um it is currently two minutes past nine i have got my um optician appointment and my healing test appointment this morning so i'm not going to be back home until about 12 and then my dad and i have got the tip booked for quarter past two half past two so i need to come home get the chaos ready get everything into my driveway ready to be taken away for the tip but um, yeah, I apologise that there was no Friday. It's not like me to miss a day, but the, this took over my world after I finished work. So yes, I had to do my makeup on the floor in this tiny little space, um, which is hilarious because none of the seats are readily available in this room and my desk looks like a shit show. But um, I don't know how much I'll film when I'm out and about. We'll just have to, to wait and see how it goes. But I do need new glasses, so... Maybe I'll film a little bit. I don't want to be a total weirdo, so we're just gonna have to wait and see. But I will take you along with me if if I can. If not, welcome to being back to my house in the next clip. Look at the chaos. Slowly, 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 but surely getting rid of shit from my house. <laughs> and once this is gone to the tip, there will be room to move stuff around, which I'm really excited about. I need to get rid of this white unit as well because it's falling apart. So I need to get all the Blu-rays and stuff off of here. And I've got one of the old bookshelves are going to be used for that. The TV and stuff is going to be moved over here. It's very exciting. Today is a very busy day. And tomorrow I'm having a chill day of doing sweet F all. And Z is helping in the most annoying way. 
physically possible. He's just preparing me for a new black bag. And Gunner is like, what the hell are you doing to my house? <laughs> and Nas is like, I'm thirsty. So there we go. beautiful people and happy Sunday. It is currently quarter to eight at night which is a really late time to say happy Sunday. Daniel and I have been doing stuff around the house today so I've just not really been very active online so I apologise for that. As you can see the old bookcases are currently residing in my living room. Uh, the new ones are kind of semi in, the books are like double stacked and like not in any particular order, they've just not been organised properly yet. We just feel a bit defeated now because we were doing it like all day, I've been doing it all weekend. Um, I've had the worst mental health this weekend as well, it's just been it's been absolutely rubbish so I am looking forward to it being Monday tomorrow and starting a new week and just starting fresh and not having to worry or stress about it because it's just it's been a bit crappy so I'm excited for a new week. I have no further reading updates for you, I've not read for the last couple of days which has not been like me recently so I am not even currently reading anything at the moment. I think the only thing I'm doing on audiobook at the moment is The Scorched Tiles and I've still got the Dave Grohl audiobook on the go. <laughs> I have not finished that yet. So next week's reading plans, I want to finish The Scorched Trials, like the second in the Maze Runner series. I also want to finish Dave Grohl's audiobook in the office this week. And what else do I want to do? I think I want to start the third book in A Discovery of Witches series because I think I'm just going to continue with it. Realistically, I really want to finish that and the fourth book by the end of the year so that I can start something exciting in the new year. So I'm just going to try and cram in as much reading reading as I can. Uh, if you hear a noise, that's Ziggy eating some food. <laughs> uh, Daniel's just headed home and I am just away to get my nails and everything done for the week because mine, you probably can't see them, but that's not a good example, but they're missing half of the nail polish and I don't want to walk about like that, so I'm going to get them done. I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. I'm sorry it's not been super long or super interesting. There's been a few time lapses of me kind of doing stuff. I've just been really, really busy, um, but I hope you all have a lovely week, day, evening afternoon whatever time of day it is that you're watching this and if you're watching this on Monday I hope you all have a lovely week ahead of you and I will see you all next time same time same place bye <laughs>